but I will share a few quotes with you here. Um, Thomas Watson says, the true penitent weeps for the stirrings of pride and lust, even if they never manifest in action. A wicked man may be troubled by outward sins, but a true convert laments the sins of the heart. I love that. So that they never get to that place of manifesting in action. Thomas Watson says, hypocrites only feel sorrow when they face the consequences of their sin. And that's why when people are confronted in their sin, they will seem like they're sorrowful, never to be seen again. It's because the, it, it's not deep into the heart. There's no deep root of godliness within them. Um, he also says, true repentance is sorrow for the offense rather than for the punishment that truly breaks one's heart. I'm sorry for the offense that I committed. It's not necessarily the punishment. And we're going to get to this, this quote here kind of draws that out even more. He says, Godly sorrow demonstrates its sincerity because when a Christian realizes that they are no longer in danger of going to hell and will never be condemned, they still feel remorse for having sinned against the grace that has forgiven them. To me, that is the, the, some of the worst pain is the Lord who has forgiven me. He's been so kind to me, yet I sinned against this grace. All right. And we don't want to make that a common thing. We're talking about the exception, not the norm. Right. But you should feel it if you do commit a sin against the Lord. But not because we're worried he's going to damn us because he saved us. We're experiencing his salvation. But because we love him and we don't want to break his heart by sinning against him. And people will say, well, Sam, it doesn't break the heart of the Lord. Okay. When we use an expression like break the heart of the Lord, I don't mean like he can't cope because the Lord is whole. But if you look throughout the scripture, he does not enjoy when his children turn away from him and commit sin. The scriptures make that abundantly clear. <laughs> and that's why we see a lot of turning away from the Lord. Israel turned away from the Lord and then the Lord punished them after a long period of time because they wouldn't turn back and remain faithful. And then I like this. True sorrow for our transgressions is sorrow for the offense against God, even if there were no consequences. Because we're in this loving union and relationship. Now, here's what I love, because then he goes into confession. He says, confession, Gregory, um, we won't even pronounce his last name. Confession is a salve for a wounded soul. So many people might view confessing their sin as something I don't want to do because then I have to feel all bad about it. But actually, when you truly know the Lord and that's laying on your conscience, it's actually a salve for your soul. It's a balm. It brings healing to you. Why? Because that's only when you confess it and are willing to forsake it will the Lord lift it off of your conscience. So that's what we're talking about. You experience a healing balm through that through the reality that God lets us confess our sin and then he removes the guilt and the stain of our sin. Praise God. And maybe one or two more. Thomas Watson says, the sins we commit under the light of the gospel are especially serious. So now that we have the light of the gospel, now that we are walking in the freedom of the Holy Spirit and glorifying the Lord Jesus Christ, if we commit sin, then those sins are especially serious. To whom much is given, much is required. We cannot treat this grace lightly. That's the other side of it. And um, I'll give you two more that are basically the same thing. Augustine says, confession is an expulsion of vice. Confession is an expulsion of vice. What it does is that sin in your heart, that, 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 that vice in your heart, when you confess it, it drives it out. It gets rid of it when you really are willing to confess it and forsake it. And then Thomas Watson says, confession purges sin. So you want to be clean? Confess it and then the blood will come and drive it out of your spirit. Praise God. 